<sighs> this is really hard right now. You know, I'm happy and I'm sad at the same time. Uh, you all know, know that once every generation, there's a leader that comes into our worlds. You have one in basketball, you have one in baseball, you have one in football. You have one in church. Uh, <sighs> you had Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan became the generational uh, leader of the WWE. And then once he went to WCW, it got past the Stone Cold Steve Austin. Then from Stone Cold Steve Austin, the torch got passed to John Cena. And then from John Cena, it got passed to Roman Reigns. Uh, in music, of course, you have the 80s with the NWA from t uh, t to Tupac, the Biggie. In church, you had uh, Bishop G. Patterson, uh, Billy Graham, all these great legends i thank god that i'm a part of a list of these great legends you know when i started doing music 2011 uh really it was i was coming home from school on april 15th and like for the first time in months i wouldn't know what i was gonna do in my life and then once I figured out what I was going to do, got it from there. I'll never forget. I told Kevin Maggard, like, Kevin Maggard, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of my life, honestly. Uh, but I did. Uh, that Monday, I wrote a song. Well, I wrote that song Friday. Then that Monday, I took it to Officer Jake Spurlock. When I took it to Officer Jake Spurlock, Honestly, I didn't know that I was going to transcend to one of the biggest stars, one of the biggest indie music stars, one of the biggest, greatest recording music artists of all time. But whenever I took that song to Officer Jake Spurlock, it just like transitioned. It went from him to Eric Gabner to Corey York. And before you know it, the whole school in Harlan County recognized who I was. Before you know it, the whole state of Florida recognized who I was. And it was great. It was an honor and privilege. And for years, I'd started doing music over and over again. I didn't know that I was going to do music for years and years to come. I thought it was just going to be temporary. And then here came McKinley Dunson just two weeks before McKinley Dunson passed. Luck? That's a definite block. All right, now the momentum continues. I didn't know that this was going to happen. I didn't know that I was going to be a part of music uh, like this. And then here came McKinley Dunson. McKinley Dunson came, and my goodness, like McKinley Dunson, like he literally helped me a lot. McKinley Dunson was supposed to be the next biggest music artist in our generation. He was supposed to be the next biggest music artist from 2011 to 2020. But unfortunately, uh, with McKinley Dunson, His life got taken away at an early age. McKinley Dunson passed away from this world too early. 
he was guaranteed the next biggest music artist of our generation. And where McKinley Dunson passed away, the torch got passed to me, Pancho Blaze and ATM. Like I said, I didn't know that the torch was going to be passed to me. It was unexpected. Uh, but as I even told myself, was I even worth uh, recording music? Was I even worth doing music? Was I even worth of music's time? But I knew after that, yes, definitely worth music's time. And for months and years and years, uh, I had great hits, like the Talking Pontius Palace, uh, the Talking Pontius Palace, the great talk show, Q Radio 97.5, being in the ministry. It's just a blessing being able to live life. Folks, we don't got time to talk down to each other. We don't got time to say nasty, evil, negative thoughts to each other. There's no time for that. Life is too short to talk about it, each other badly. We need to be encouraging each other to do great things in the world. We're already killing each other. We're already murdering each other. We're already taking each other down with social bullying. There's no need for that. There's no need for putting us down because the world already puts us down as it is. There's too many good people, too many positive people in the world. There's too many people that get hurt, that commit suicide, that get killed, all because of our stupidity, all because of our pride, all because of our egos. If we got a chance to back somebody up, we need to back them up. And I'm telling y'all, with uh, Savannah Dexter, Y'all need to back this woman up, Savannah Dexter. Savannah Dexter is the next musical generational leader, and I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud that we got a woman that is stepping up out of fear. She gets talked about bad way worse than I do because she's a woman. She gets talked about bad enough. The last thing we need to do is take each other down. There's no time for us to haterize at each other. And if you get blocked, if you get deleted, I don't give a crap if you do because when well, you talk bad and nasty, there's no need for us to talk bad and nasty about each other. There's no need for us to put each other down. Any chance we get to back somebody up, we've got to back him up. I'm telling you, Savannah Dexter, the next generational music leader, my God. She may not see it right now. She may not recognize it right now. But Savannah Dexter has got the gift of God in her. She's got the power of the Holy Ghost in her. She's got the spirit of God in her. I know she's doing her own thing. And she's getting successful for it. But Savannah Dexter is the woman that you all need to follow. You all need to follow Savannah Dexter in the years to come. You all need to follow Savannah Dexter in the weeks to come. This woman is going to do so much in the music industry. She's going to do so much in the world. Savannah Dexter is going to do so much. She's going to touch so many lives. Lives are going to be changed. People is going to be touched. People is going to be impacted by Savannah Dexter's music. And you know, she already impacted people's lives. She's already touching people's lives because she, she is doing music the right way. She is putting music out the right way. She is not letting anybody Get in between her and music. She's not letting anybody get touched. She's not letting anybody step into her shoes. 
<laughs> Savannah Dexter is doing it the right way. And I know in Global Force Records that I allow some people to come between me and my friends. And I'm sorry about that. I've allowed some people to come between me and uh, music. I've allowed some people to come between me and family and friends. And the sacrifice that I put to be the social media and YouTube legend, I am so proud of being the social media and YouTube legend. Yes, there have been people over the years that talk nasty, evil, negative, and rude thoughts. And there was more than just now. I had to block him. I had to get rid of him and delete him. But I'm so proud of being the YouTube, the social media and YouTube legend. I am proud for every music hit that I put out there. I am so proud of being you all's, one of y'all's best music artists out there in the world. I'm so happy. I would not change anything. I would not change a single tune. I would not change a single message. I would not change a single talk show for you. If I had to do this all over again, you better believe your bottom dollar. I would do it all over again. I've had great nicknames like the motor, sexy chocolate, uh, caramel brown sugar, uh, the hip hop preacher. Uh, and a lot of y'all know my songs and everything. Some was great for Jesus. Some wasn't great for Jesus. But overall, I'm happy to be the social media and YouTube legend. I am so proud of putting hits out there. Whether you cheered me, whether you booed me, whether you talked about me, you got to respect me. You got to show love for me. You got to show that heart and passion for me. Uh, and I may not be the most influenced music artist in the world. I may not have been the most lyrical, but I was the most passionate because of the love of the music business and the love of the music business that I have, the love of the music business that McKinley Dunson had is the same love that Savannah Dexter has. And so I'm officially semi-retiring from recording music, officially semi-retiring because God has great plans for me to be more further in the music industry. God has got more plans for me to spread his gospel of Jesus Christ all over around the world. I'm so proud of music hits that I've hit out. I'm so proud of all the videos that I've done over the years. I'm so proud of growing into the man that I am today. For having the stock in Poncho's Palace, for being the businessman that I am, for being the music producer that I am, for now having my own record label, Global Force Records. Thank you, Alyssa Grubb, Amanda Neal, Tanya Hammonds. Thank you, Stacey Cornett. Thank you, Twan Jacobs, Micah Howard, Ibla Akrista, for being the workers that you are and for believing in me. Thank you, Missy Mills. Thank you, Barry Wick Whitaker. Thank you for being the workers. And thank you for the past GFR workers in Jonathan Pittman, Logan Clark, Cal Belcher, Tony T, Alex Horn. I know I have my differences with you all. Kendra North, uh, Brittany Gross, uh, I can't remember all you all that used to be Global Force. I'm so proud of the people that you all become today. And for growing, for growing, that's the main thing. You've got to grow. If you don't grow, you can't succeed in life. If you don't learn to grow, you will never make it in life. If you don't learn to grow, then you can't get far in life. But I tell y'all this, Savannah Dexter is the next music generational leader. Uh, that's the gospel. That is the truth. 
And I pray in the name of Jesus that Savannah Dexter will get saved. And we'll turn her life over to the Lord eventually. I know she don't see it right now, but she will eventually. These past years for making hits on Make, Make the Move, 60 Seconds, Buff, and albums even like Sexy Chocolate, uh, Recovered for Pain, Let's Ride. I'm so proud till this day that you all have supported me throughout the years in music. But I've got to leave you all in music. It's semi-retired. It's I'm happy, but I'm sad at the same time. I know this won't be the last time that you see me in music. This won't be the last time that you'll see me record music. This won't be the last time that you hear my voice in music. I may be done officially from record music, but I will not be done with music in general. I will not be done. I will not be done. As like I said, where do you cheer me? Where do you boo me? Where do you put nasty, negative, evil comments? Where do you put great comments? It don't matter. The better, the main thing is that you all cared. The main thing is that you all respected me and loved me throughout the years. And I can't thank you all enough for that. I can't thank you all enough for putting the solo music into my life. I can't thank you all enough for allowing me just to be me. And for the ones that stepped up, that stood up for me throughout the years, I thank you all so much. You all admire so much to me, be the most to me. And my GFR family from Amanda Neal to Alyssa Grubb uh, to Missy Mills to Mary Whitaker and to Brooklyn Woods' son, Congrats, Brooklyn Woods, on having the baby, on getting ready to have your child. I know that semi-retirement from music is not an easy thing. And recognizing somebody else and passing the, passing the torch to somebody else isn't easy. But at times you've got to do this. I know that me passing this torch to Savannah Dexter is going to light her world up. Passing the torch to Savannah Dexter is the right thing to do. Passing the torch to Savannah Dexter is the best thing to do. Savannah Dexter is the hottest thing going in music right now. Just because I'm not going to be a record music and I'm semi-retired, that doesn't mean you got to stop listening. I'm telling you all, Savannah Dexter, you all got to check her out. She is the hottest thing going in music right now. <laughs> She's going to be the generational leader for years and years to come. And she's making the right step because she's not allowing circumstances. She's not allowing comments to get to her. That's what makes her so great right now. For years, I allowed comments, I allowed negativity, nastiness to come to my mind. And I've lost a lot of friends. I've lost a lot of family. I've lost a lot of time with it. But now I can enjoy time. I can enjoy just being me. I can enjoy ministering the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm not ashamed to say that my Lord and Savior is my Lord and Savior. And I know I'm not supposed to cry. I'm passing the torch. But this can't be helped. This has to be. If it wasn't, it would be to be. Savannah Dexter, wherever you're at, around the world, wherever you're at around the world, Savannah Dexter, I want you to know that you are our music generational leader. I want you to know, Savannah Dexter, wherever you're at, God has chosen you to be our music generational leader. If it takes a woman to get the music line back up, then so be it. If it takes a woman to get the music hot again, then so be it. 
if it takes a woman to get music back up again, if it takes the music to get the end of disrespect, then so be it. I'm going to enjoy being a music producer. I'm going to enjoy being the record label owner. I'm going to enjoy mentoring young talent in the music industry. Uh, it's a shame that McKinley Dunson didn't get to become the legend that he was because he is the legend still. But it's a shame that he didn't get to further his career because of a tragedy. But God allowed me to become that music generational leader from 2011 to 2020. And he's allowed me to do so much more. And he's blessed my life. He's blessed my mom's life. He's blessed me to become the assistant pastor of One Way Pentecostal Church. And now we got One Way Pentecostal Ministries. And to all my friends, all my family, all the church people that I've went to church with over the years, I thank you all so much for not giving up on me. I thank you all so much for not giving up on my mom. I thank you all so much that when people's put us down, me and Pastor Prince is down, that you have stepped up and you said, no, this man of God is great. This man is excellent. No, this woman of God is who she says she is. And it's because of people like you that allow people like me to become successful. It's because of people like you out there, Facebook, on YouTube, on Vimo, on Twitter. It's, a pe it's because of people like you on Instagram, people like you all around the world, at the House of Hope, at Kerbal Church of God, at Greater Mount Silent Baptist Church, at Macedonia, in Richmond, Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky, the United States of America, internationally, boys, girls, men, women, Black, white, yellow, brown, wherever you're at around the world. Thank you for allowing me to become the social media and YouTube legend. And thank you so much for allowing me to become a great music artist. Thank you so much for allowing me to be the man. Savannah Dexter. Savannah Dexter, I want you to listen up real good, Savannah Dexter. Wherever you're at around the world, this jacket, this Air Jordan jacket, I don't know if you can see it or not. This Air Jordan jacket was passed from a great football player to me. Elijah Bell in 2015. Elijah Bell gave me this jacket because he knew that I would become a great indie music artist. And Elijah Bell from Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky, knew that I would make it in the music industry. Elijah Bell, thank you for giving me the gift. Not for the gift of the jacket, but for the gift of saying that you know that I am great. This jacket will be passed eventually from me to now you, Savannah Dexter. You wear this Air Jordan jacket with pride. You wear this Air Jordan jacket with honor. You wear this Air Jordan jacket with dignity because it's not about the gifts that you somebody gives to you. It's about the gift that's inside of you. Savannah, the gift that's inside of you is the gift that God has given to you. Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus, I want to say thank you, Lord, for allowing me to become the social media and YouTube legend. Thank you, Lord, for turning my sins around. Thank you, Lord, for letting me be the man that I am. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to have great music hits. I know all of the hits wasn't in your name, but thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be the social media and YouTube legend. Savannah Dexter, I pray that the gift of God comes through you. I pray that the spirit of God that is inside of me will flow 
right into your heart, through your mind, and through your soul, and through your spirit. Savannah Dexter, you may not recognize it right now, but Savannah Dexter, you got the gift of God, and the spirit of God is inside you, and I pray one day, Savannah Dexter, that you will get saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and see the great God that's inside of me, and see the Jesus that's inside of me, and Savannah Dexter, I pray that one day, that you will recognize that the spirit of God is real, and that the Lord has brought you into the music industry. Savannah Dexter, I want you to know right now that you are the next generational music leader through the spirit of the Lord. God chose you to be the next music generational leader because you are the next generational leader, Savannah Dexter. And it's okay to cry. It's okay to let it out. Because when you cry in the spirit of the Lord, the Lord sees honor in humbleness. Lord, I thank you for allowing me to be humble in the music industry. I thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be the recording music artist that I was. And now that the music of recording is being passed from me to you, Savannah Dexter. I pray, God, right now in the name of Jesus that you, Savannah Dexter, will see Jesus in the near future. You may not see him now, but I pray and I speak and I command that you will see Jesus in the name of Jesus in the years to come. Lord, thank you for allowing me to have great people in GFR, from the GFR chairperson, Alyssa Grubb, to the GFR CEO, Mary Whitaker, to the GFR president, Brooklyn Woods. I pray, God, the Brooklyn Woods son has a safe delivery. Lord, God, Thank you, Holy Ghost. Shout about say to about his higher. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to have great people in GFR. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be in worship with great people. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to help mom in the ministry. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to become a owner a record label owner. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to become a businessman. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be me. And now that I'm growing in the spirit of God, because you commanded me to grow in the spirit of God, I pray, God, that the next phase of my life, that the ministry be strong in your name, that souls get saved, that people come to the Lord. And I pray, God, right now, as of this minute, that people, the thousands and the millions that are watching around the world get touched. And Father, forgive those that have made fun and that mocked me throughout the years. Forgive those that have said bad, nasty, negative, evil thoughts about me throughout the years. Forgive them, not for they know what they've done. Because you said, God, when John the Baptist was here and Jesus was coming, that they would be somebody greater than John the Baptist. He would do great more miracles than John the Baptist. And I pray, God, right now that Savannah Dexter will move in the spirit of God and that she will be the next generational music leader. Whether some people recognize it or not, Savannah Dexter, I proclaim in the name of Jesus as of this moment that she is the next generational music leader leader. And I know that Savannah Dexter is taking my place. I know she's taking my place, Lord, and there's nothing I can do about it. But Lord God, if I'm happy of one person taking my place, it is Savannah Dexter. Lord God, I'm so happy and I'm so proud that Savannah Dexter is now stepping into the measure of of faith. I'm so happy right now, God, that Savannah Dexter is doing great wonders in music. You've already made her a number one star. You've already made her album a number one hit. And she's not even been in the music industry over a year just yet. 
But Lord God, right now, I pray in the name of Jesus that all great things come to those that wait upon you. Lord God, when we humble ourselves, Lord God, when we give it all to you, that's when we get the very best. And Lord God, I wish McKinley Dunson was here. I wish he would have had his legacy built. But unfortunately, he is not here, God. But I pray in the name of Jesus that everything will be all right. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus that you will bring the fire of heaven down to Savannah Dexter, wherever she goes. Let her think about you, Lord. Wherever Savannah Dexter does musically, let her start thinking about your name, Jesus. Wherever Savannah Dexter does, let her be convicted to the point where she has to get saved, God. Lord God, I thank you for all the great things you've done for me. I thank you, Lord, for all the great things that you're still doing for me. It's sad that I'm not going to be fully doing recording music anymore. But I'm happy that I can minister the gospel of Jesus Christ in your name. And Lord God, anybody that is negative about one way Pentecostal ministries, anybody that's negative about the talk in Pontius Palace, anybody that's negative about my music, anybody that's negative in my life, I proclaim that you get them out in the name of Jesus. All those that have mocked and made fun and laughed over the years. I pray, God, that you convict their heart and that you bring them to Jesus Christ. That you bring them to the house of God in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for everything you do. I give you glory, honor, and praise. And now, God, now that I pray the gift of music that I had, the passion of music that I had, that's in my soul, the same fire that I had in the music industry, record music, Lord God, I pass it on to Savannah Dexter in the name of Jesus. I pass it on to Savannah Dexter in Jesus' name. Lord God, I give you glory, honor, and praise. And Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for everything that you're doing in my life, for elevating me into the ministry, for helping me grow, for helping me accomplish things in life that I wouldn't even thought of accomplishing. I thank you, Lord, for bringing great friends in music throughout the years. I thank God for bringing great people in my life throughout the years. Lord God, we give you glory, honor, and praise. And now the gift of music that was once in my life, now I pass it and I pass the torch onto Savannah Dexter. Savannah Dexter, now the torch is officially to you in the name of Jesus. Savannah Dexter, wherever you're at around the world, God is saying that the torch is officially passed from me to you. Now, Savannah Dexter, you officially have the torch. And I pray that God will use you in a mighty way, Savannah Dexter. I pray, God, that with the torch, that you, Savannah Dexter, will prosper in life because I speak prosperity in your life, Savannah Dexter. I speak power in your life, and I speak the Spirit to come through your life. You may not recognize it, but one day you will. In the name of Jesus, one day, Savannah Dexter, I pray that the Lord will convict you where you will get saved. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for everything that you do for all of us. We give you glory, honor, and we give you praise. In the name of Jesus, pray. Amen and amen. 
I want to thank each and every single person that has supported me throughout the years in recording music. I loved making great hits. Like I said, no matter if you've booed me, if you've cheered me, if you thought I couldn't do it, if you thought I could do it, if you knew I could do it, if you knew I couldn't do it, no matter if people's made fun, people's laughed, people's cheered me, encouraged me, I thank each and every single one of you all throughout the years. It's because of you, the people, that's allowed me to have fire in music, and now I've got the fire to go out and minister the gospel of Jesus Christ fully. Savannah Dexter, if anybody deserves this torch, Savannah Dexter, it is you. Savannah Dexter, you've done more as a music artist in a year than all of us music artists around the world has done our entire lives. Savannah Dexter, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of everybody's heart, from the bottom of GFR's heart, and everybody around the world, Savannah Dexter, we thank you for stepping out and for being the music artist. Savannah Dexter, we thank you so much for allowing God to use you. Savannah Dexter, we thank you for letting Jesus step in. We thank you, Savannah Dexter, for having the fire and the passion. But most of all, we thank you, Savannah Dexter, for making music count again. Savannah Dexter, if you keep on doing what you're doing, if you keep on making classic great hits, if you keep on doing great in the music industry, Savannah Dexter, I guarantee you, before the end of your time, you will be a top five indies music artist of all time, Savannah Dexter. I guarantee you. Savannah Dexter, I already know that you're going to pass me in the rankings. I already know you're going to pass me in the music industry. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm not mad at you. I'm proud of you. I'm glad that you're passing me in the music industry. I'm glad you're passing me in the rankings. I'm glad that we got a woman that is representing music industry. They say when a, mu a woman is in the music industry, it's rough for her. Like I said, I've been through it with people talking nasty, negative, and rude to me. I could have stopped automatically. I could have said, you know what? When people's talking nasty, negative, rude, evil, bad comments, I could have said, that's it. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm throwing it down. I'm quitting. But no, as a witness, you all saw me never gave up. You all saw me always keep on going, no matter what. You always saw me have that fire. And the same fire that is in me, Savannah Dexter, now I pass the same fire on to you, Savannah Dexter. Now the fire is officially in your hands of recording music. No longer is the fire in my heart in the recording music. The fire is in your heart, Savannah Dexter, and you are going to carry music for years to come. You are going to be the music generational leader. And before this century is up, Savannah Dexter, you are going to be a top five greatest indies music artist of all time. Because the fire is inside of you, and I know that you will not quit. I know, Savannah Dexter, that you will not let people get to you. I know, Savannah Dexter, that you will not let the haters and naysayers come at you. Like me, for example, when I finally realized that I had to block the haters and naysayers, that's when God elevated me up to new heights. It was at that moment when I decided 
to block and get rid of those nasty, negative, evil, rude comments when I decided to block those haters and naysayers. When I learned to let go, that's when God started blessing me that much more. Savannah Dexter, it's an honor. It's a privilege to officially pass the torch to you, Savannah Dexter. I know you're going to do good. I know you're going to do great. I know you're going to do excellent. Savannah Dexter, do music for the entire world. Make an impact and take music farther, way much farther than I ever did. Take it to countries. Take it to places that's never been before. If anybody can do it, Savannah Dexter, it's you. You got the resources. You got the tools. You got the people behind you. You can do this, Savannah Dexter. Don't let people get to you, Savannah Dexter, like I did throughout the years, Savannah Dexter, because I'm telling you, and I'm giving you some legendary advice. This is legendary advice coming from a legend, me, Savannah Dexter. When you let people come at you, when you let people come to your heart, it will eat you up. It will bury you alive. It will make you to the point where you don't even want to do music anymore. But Savannah Dexter, you block the haters. You block the naysayers. You block anybody that's in your way. You delete anybody that's in your way. You get rid of those nasty, negative, evil, rude comments. You block the comments like I did. And I'm telling you, Savannah Dexter, you're going to be a top five greatest music indies artist of all time before the century is up. I hope you do good. I hope you do great. Savannah Dexter, I'm rooting for you. Savannah Dexter, you are one of my biggest fans. Savannah Dexter, good luck. But most of all, thank you all so much. It's been great. It's been wonderful doing music the past couple years. I will never, ever forget any of you fans out there in the world. But it's my time to semi-retire from recording music. It's my time to go out and enjoy life peacefully. It's my time to produce music. It's my time to minister the gospel of Jesus Christ that much more fully. It's my time to be the businessman and let the younger talent step in the music industry. And Trey Barnes, wherever you're at around the world, if you want to be in the part of the music industry, hey, I got you, brother. Amber Witt from Harlan County, Kentucky, if you're wanting to do music, I got you also. Thank you all so much. May God bless each and every single one of you all. Keep blazing. And I hope you don't ever forget me as a music artist, as a social media and YouTube legend. And I hope you don't forget the impact that I had and the amount of time that I did. Even though I may be gone from recording music, you ain't heard the last of my voice in the music industry. You ain't heard the last of me doing music hits. Somewhere, sometime, a music hit or two will come out. But I love you all. All of you are great. All of you all are my family out there in social media land. All around the world in the cyber land. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for not stop believing in me and for not quitting on me. I will never, ever forget any one of you all. And I hope you all follow me at One Way Pentecostal Ministries 
I hope you all follow my mom, Pastor Princess Holland, at One Way Pentecostal Ministries. I hope you all follow me as a music producer. I hope you all follow me as a record label owner. I'm going to sit back and enjoy life. I'm going to enjoy it so, so much. And Savannah Dexter, now the ball is in your court. Now the keys. The keys, Savannah Dexter, are in your kingdom. Now you are in control of the kingdom. Now you are the official queen of music. You are our next generational music leader, Savannah Dexter. Make us happy. Make us proud. Spit the fire that we know that you got. And for the rest of you all, you all can see me at One Way Pentecostal Ministries, ministering the gospel of Jesus Christ. The rest of you all, you all can see me. Music produce, and you all can see me. Host my talk show, The Talking Ponchos Palace. Thank you all for always believing in me. Thank you for always stepping up for me when haters and naysayers was talking bad, nasty, and evil on my talk show, on music, and the church services, and anything. For those that stepped up, you always have all been there. And I won't forget any single one of you all. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Keep blazing and always have God in your life no matter what. Savannah Dexter, the torch is officially now yours. This is the end of me fully record music. This is the end of it right here. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, YouTube for always believing in me, YouTube. YouTube, I owe a lot to you. YouTube, I owe my life to you. YouTube, you made me become the social media and YouTube legend. I will never forget that, YouTube. Whoever the YouTube owner is, whoever started YouTube, whoever started the YouTube studios, Thank you, YouTube Studios, for always believing in me. Thank you for never blocking any of my clips. Thank you, YouTube, for always letting me be an impact in music. YouTube, it is with that that I owe a lot to you. Thank you so much. Facebook. Facebook. It has been awesome. Recording music for you all. Facebook. It's been a journey. It's been a privilege. Recording music for you all. Facebook, you gave me this first social media platform. You've allowed me to grow. You've allowed me to be the man that I am, Facebook. Words cannot describe how much you mean so much to me. There's been a lot of evil, nasty, negative talk throughout the years. There's been a lot of good talk throughout the years. 
But wherever you're at around the world, it's been an honor. It's been a privilege. Record music, being the record music artist, being the social media YouTube legend, it's been an honor of just recording in general. I can't forget any of y'all on Facebook. Thank you so much, Facebook, for allowing me to have a platform. Thank you, Facebook, for always letting me record music fully and for always letting me be me. Facebook, I owe it all to you. I owe it all to you, Facebook. Now you can see me in one way, Pentecostal Ministries. You can see me on the Talk of Pouches Palace. You can see me now doing business. Great. Gonna be awesome. All the great hits, wonderful times in dancing, singing, recording music. But now we get to share more moments. In the church world, we can share more moments in the talk shows, we can share more moments in business. So, this has been great, it's been an honor. This has been great. Thank you, thank you, Josh for always being there for me in my goodest times, Joshua Blevins, Ruby Blevins. Thank you, Joshua Ruby Blevins, for always being there in the worst of times. You know Joshua Blevins. <laughs> you know how my great times have been. You know how my worst times have been. But you've always witnessed blazing. My oh, man, yeah, officially, in the recording music, semi, I'm semi retired officially. Okay. I thank you too, Carter Howard. Thank you too. And Hannah Edwards, my uh, brother's girlfriend, you have always been there for me no matter what, Hannah Edwards. Hannah Edwards, thank you for turning my brother's life around. Thank you, Hannah Edwards, for calming my brother down. Thank you, Hannah Edwards, for Give my brother life again. Thank you, Jonathan Pittman, Logan Clark, Cal Venture, for being the GFR family of the past. These are tears of joy and happy tears. Trey Barnes, man, I, I got to talk to you here in a little bit, Trey Barnes, about something about a little bit off of social media, but I'll talk to you here in a little bit, Trey Barnes. And thank you so much for just being a part of my life at their social media land. Hey, uh, Stephen uh, Perkins, thank you so much, brother. Thank you, Carter. I appreciate that knowledge, with Carter. <laughs> I appreciate you, Andrew. Uh, Andrew uh, Hensley. I, I forgot. I'm sorry if I forgot your name, Andrew Hensley. Apologize on that one. Uh, Alyssa Grubb, my GFR chairperson, Alyssa Grubb. That's love to you right there. You was one of the ones, in GFR, Alyssa Grubb, that always had my back, regardless of who ever talked about me. There are times that you wanted everything to be perfect and everything was not. And I understood why you left a little bit uh, less of room. But I'm glad, you so glad that you're back in my uh, GFR record level list of room. Thank you, Katie Rowe. Thank you so much, Katie Rowe. Thank you, Carter Howard. Uh, thank you, uh, Wes uh, Miller. Thank you so much. Hey, this will be the last time that you see me record music. There'll be a time or two where I'll still have a hit or two in me. 
I'll still have a hit or two with me though. For real. Savannah Dexter. Savannah Dexter. I want you to know, Savannah Dexter, when McKinley Dunson gave me words of advice, I know Joshua uh, uh, Gilbert, but the Lord wants me to move to higher levels, so I got to. I got to, Joshua Gilbert. Savannah Dexter, McKinley Dunson once told me that in order to be great, you got to surpass all odds. In order to be great, you got to be willing to put haters and naysayers. You got to be willing to block evilness if you want to get a chance of making it. I feel you, uh, Joseph Gordon. <sighs> hey, McKinley Dunson was great. I wish McKinley Dunson was alive here, so that way Savannah Dexter, you couldn't meet him. Savannah McKinley was a was my mentor. Without McKinley Dunson uh, Jr., without Bowser, Poncho Blaze and ATM would not exist. I'm just gonna be honest. Without McKinley Dunson Jr., they would be no Poncho Blaze and ATM Savannah Dexter, and they would be no social media and YouTube legend. But Savannah Dexter, I want you to know that God has officially. And I want you to hear this from the sound of my voice, from the prophet himself. Savannah Dexter, I'm not considered, well, I really don't consider myself a prophet, but prophecies do come every once in a while. Savannah Dexter, as God is my witness, the Lord has called you to be the next music generational leader, Savannah Dexter. He's done it through you, Savannah Dexter, because he knows that you are powerful. He knows that you got fire. He knows you got the desire and the passion. And yes, Savannah Dexter, people's going to talk about you. People's going to sometimes make fun of you. People's going to laugh at you, Savannah Dexter. People is going to say mad, nasty, negative, evil, rude thoughts. But Savannah Dexter, just words from advice from the legend, social media, YouTube legend, Savannah Dexter. Don't let those people get to you. Don't let the nastiness get to you. If you got to block and delete people, block them. If you got to get rid of the comments, get rid of them because I'm telling you, Spender Dexter, when you do that, you will succeed that much more in life. Savannah Dexter, the torch is officially passed to you. God wants you to have the torch. God wants you to be the woman. God wants you to be the queen. God wants you to be the the music generational leader and before this century is over if you will stay right where you at if you will elevate if you will go on the new level savannah dexter i promise you you will be one of the top five greatest indies music artists of all time savannah dexter i didn't get that live performances like you did take advantage of that sometimes my music hits have not went up to a thousand or a million views. Take advantage of that. Savannah Dexter, I didn't get uh, the producers like you did and the directors like you did. Take advantage of that. Savannah Dexter, take advantage of the opportunities that you got. Take advantage. Savannah Dexter, you got my blessing to now officially be the next musical generational leader. You got my blessing to get the keys of the kingdom. You got my blessing to be the queen. And you are officially the next music generational leader because the torch is passed to you, Savannah Dexter. Don't let evilness get to you. Don't let bad comments, don't let people that don't want nothing to do with you get rid of If they don't want a part of it, let them go. The ones that want to stay a part of it, let them stay. Because it's going to be those fans that's going to carry you to the top. It's going to be the fans of Posh Blaze and ATM, the fans of all over the world. The fans of McKinley Dunson are for you. McKinley Dunson's spirit is with you, Savannah Dexter. My spirit is with you. The Lord's spirit is with you. That's what's going to carry you to the top. 
That's what's going to get you to new heights, Minute Dexter. I uh, appreciate you, Andrew and Joshua Blevin, so much. I really do appreciate you so much. And Savannah Dexter, to be honest, there were times that I wanted to give up. There are times that I wanted to throw in the towel, but I didn't. I could have stopped ministry. I could have backslid. I could have walked away from the Lord. I could have walked away from the music industry. There were plenty of times that I wanted to quit. There are plenty of times that I didn't want to do music anymore. There are plenty of times that I didn't want to do my talk show anymore. But I kept on going. Keep on going, Savannah Dexter. I guarantee you, you're going to make it. later out there on YouTube. Appreciate you, every single one of y'all on YouTube. I'll be, I'll be in contact with you too, man. Too. Hey, just because I may be done recording music, it's soon out of retire. That don't mean that I'm stopping official the music. You might seem the last of me in music. Hey, now you can catch me in ministry. Now you can catch me on the talk show. You can catch me doing everything else. Thank you.